hello everyone and thank you for watching this video so um, in this um, first video of this series or this or of this playlist I, I will be talking about um, what we're going to do in this um, series of videos and so basically I will just um, teach you how to build a, a machine learning natural language processing pipeline on your local environment um, if you are watching this video I, I was I assume that you are um, a machine learning engineer or you have some knowledge about machine learning or you are a data scientist or you know something about Python and data science and machine learning and building models in TensorFlow or PyTorch um, so it's n this this series is not for beginners. Um, if you are a beginner in data science, you can still watch it. But I'll advise that you gain some data science experience before watching this um, um, video, because I, I would not be doing things like helping you set up um, a, your local environment with Anaconda or helping you set up Python 3.8. I assume you already have the knowledge to set these things up um, so uh, as I said we would I would um, teach you how to build a machine learning natural language processing pipeline um, on your local environment and um, in later videos we will talk about what kind of pipeline we are going to build and what is the data we are going to use and uh, some other details um, so, um, wh why why do we need to build um, a machine learning pipeline? So, um, as a data scientist or as a machine learning engineer, there would um, come a time where um, you would want to automate um, your machine learning um, workflows. So. Um, you, you would probably have a function for um, data ingestion you would have a function for so for data ingestion you have a function that can probably read CSV files or read TF record files or read um, uh, Apache packet files maybe on your PC or somewhere in some AWS or GCP bucket you would have um, a data validation that will probably check the schema of your training and validation data to see if there is any mismatch then you you have functions for data pre-processing so um, if you are doing natural language processing maybe you want to remove stop words maybe using regular expressions maybe um, you would like to maybe put all your sentences in lower case um, things like that if you would add working with structured data, maybe you want to scale your data between zero and one. If you are working with text data, maybe you want to apply some um, vocabulary. Um, so yeah, if you are working with computer vision, maybe you want to scale your data. So stuff like that. Um, if you're working with maybe model and, and so yeah, so all these um, fields have ways where you would like to process your data. And then you have a function that will do your model training where you build your CNNs and your transformers and your LSTMs and your neural networks and your SVMs and all, all those things. And then you, after building your model, you would like to analyze your model. Maybe you'd like to check the performance of your previous model with your current one to see which one performs best. Maybe split your data along maybe sections or let's say how some um, particular um, slice of your data performs with respect to another slice of your data to see what um, how the performance of your data is and so yeah so you you always like to check that and then probably you also have a function that would deploy your model after all these processes is done and your model passes all your checks so yeah, as a data scientist or a machine learning engineer, you always would like to automate your machine learning workflows. So uh, building a pipeline is 
um, important. So building your pipeline is important as you, you go ahead in your career. Um, so, um, so for this series of videos, we will focus mainly on using a tool called TensorFlow Extended. So TensorFlow Extended makes building machine learning pipelines very, very easy. So I should say it makes building deep learning pipelines very, very easy. So um, each of uh, the workflows or the pipeline components that we talked about earlier have a corresponding component in TensorFlow Extender that you can use to make your life easy. For, for something like data ingestion, you can have, we have the example gen. So example gen is a component that can help you read CSV files, it can read TF record files, it can read um, um, Apache packet and Apache Avro files. And then we also have um, the, the statistics gen, schema gen, example validator that would help you do your data validation. So these components are all part of the um, TFX ecosystem. If you are not using the TFX ecosystem but you still want to validate your data, there is a library um, which is the TensorFlow data validation. Actually, statistic gen, schema gen, example validator are all using this library under the hood. Um, so for data pre-processing, there is TensorFlow transform. Um, if you don't want to use TensorFlow transform or you don't want to use the TFX component, you have you, there is the TensorFlow um, transform library or TFT, which you can use. For model training, there is the trainer. For model analysis, there is um, the evaluator resolver node and the pusher. There is also TFMA TensorFlow model analysis that you can use as a standalone component. And then we have model deployment. There is TensorFlow serving that you can use to deploy and serve your models. Um, so we would go through all these components step by step. So that is what we would do in this series of videos. Go through each component, build uh, a natural language processing pipeline um, on our local environment and then when we are done with understanding what these components do and how to build this um, our machine learning pipeline with these components on our local installation of um, Python uh, we would move all these workflows into the cloud and see how we can build these pipelines in the cloud. And we would um, also um, build, um, we also deploy our, our model onto a Kubernetes cluster after building um, our pipeline so that we can send inference requests to our um, deployed model because that is the, 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 the goal of data science and machine learning. A model is not useful unless you can deploy for other people to use. If you build your a model alone and you are just using it, it doesn't really have any value. So um, we, we would do all, um, so keep um, watching this channel and I'll keep uploading um, videos. Um, so um, let's start off with um, our first component. Um, data ingestion using example gen.